The archaeologists called it a typical tomb, but it wasn't so typical. There's fancy tombs and there's simple tombs. Simple tombs don't have fancy facades. This is a simple tomb with a fa fancy facade. Odd. Very simple tomb uh, with this symbol right on the facade over the entrance. Why? What does it mean? It's so unusual that when Professor Amos Kloner wrote a catalog of tombs, he took this tomb's facade and put it on his cover. Unusual. When they entered the tomb, they found three skulls on the floor guarding, almost ritually placed in a triangular fashion, the, um, the ossuaries, the kochim, the burial niches. Whose skulls are they? They weren't, Jews didn't do that in the first century. Jews don't do it today. That's not respectful to the dead. You leave the dead in the ossuaries. And yet there were three skulls placed in ritual fashion as guardians. What does that mean? Remember there were three people buried on Golgotha. Golgotha means the, the place of the skulls. Is somebody telling us that this is the real place of the skulls? You know, when Jesus is crucified, he's crucified on the hill of the skulls between two other people. Three, three men were crucified that day. Here you have three skulls guarding the tomb. It seems that in ancient times, about a thousand years ago, during the Crusades, somebody broke into the tomb. How do we know that? The stone in front is missing, and silt over a long, hundreds of years, slowly made its way into, into the tomb, got all blocked up again. So somebody went in there, somebody who felt specially and, and, and maybe buried, maybe put guardian skulls in the place. By the way, the Templars were accused of worshiping a skull. The Templars were said to have a secret from Jerusalem. Could they have known about this tomb? Um, the names are obviously unusual. It's unusual that there's nothing else in the tomb except ossuaries. Were there things in there that were taken out? Scrolls? There's no, there's no earthenware, there's no glassware, there's nothing. It's very unusual. Just somebody cleaned it out a long, long time ago. Where is that stuff? What happened? So, um, you know, the, there are a lot of issues, there are a lot of mysteries still to figure out about this particular tomb. 